Welcome to our video on Kobo Toolbox, a powerful, free and open source platform designed to make data collection accessible to everyone, everywhere. Kobo Toolbox supports various social impact initiatives by enabling easy mobile data collection. Whether you're working in humanitarian action, development, environmental protection, peace building or human rights, Kobo Toolbox has you covered. We will cover the following topics. Introduction to Kobo Toolbox, creating Kobo Toolbox account, navigating the Kobo Toolbox interface, form development in Kobo Toolbox, deploying forms for data collection, collecting data online and offline, analyzing data in Kobo Toolbox, visualizing data with Kobo Toolbox, project management in Kobo Toolbox, and advanced features and integrations. Let's first start with some basics of Kobo Toolbox. Kobo Toolbox is an innovative open source platform for collecting, managing, and visualizing data. It is the most widely used data tool for social impact initiatives across the globe, including humanitarian action, development, peace building, human rights, environmental protection, and other social impact initiatives. To support our nonprofit users, we provide our tools for free under the community plan. We also offer advanced services and upgrades for large organizations with high volume and complex data collection needs. Kobo Toolbox makes it easy to develop forms for data collection. It also has features for managing projects, visualizing data, and building complex forms. Getting started with Kobo Toolbox is very simple. First, you will have to create your account. For this, visit the Kobo Toolbox website. Um, you will have to select kobotoolbox.org for humanitarian organizations. For all other users, select kobo.humanitarianresponse.info. Then you will have to fill in the registration form, as you can see here. You will have to enter your username, your email address, organization, and you will be asked to create a password. You will also have to agree to the terms. And finally, you click on the Create Account button, you submit the form and verify your email. You can then log in to Copa Toolbox to start managing your data collection projects. Once you're logged in to Copa Toolbox, you will see this dashboard. This is your central hub for all your projects, where you can create new projects but you can also see all your ongoing projects. For each project, you will find a summary with the number of submissions that are there for this project. You can visualize the form, look at how your data is collected, and you can look at the data itself, where you will find a table to summarize the data, gallery, if you have any pictures and you can also download the data. Finally, you can also edit your project from the settings tab. To create a new form in Kobo Toolbox, go to the new button. You will be presented with four different options. You can build your form from scratch, entering some project details. You can also use a template if you have one in the library. You can upload an Excel form that you have locally or import an Excel form via an URL. You have the possibility of adding over 25 different question types, including text, multiple choice, media, and GPS. Once you've created your form, you will need to deploy it to make it accessible for data collection. You have different possibilities to do this. You can share a web link, generate a QR code, or deploy it to mobile devices using the Kobo Collect app. Your form is now ready for data collection. 
You can collect data both online and offline. With Kobo Collect, data collectors can gather information even without internet access, syncing it later when they reconnect. Once you install the app, you will need to set the correct server. Go to Server Link Settings. Here you can set the server link either using a QR code or manually, as shown here. Add the server URL, your username, and your password. You can now start analyzing your data. Kobo Toolbox offers basic tools to filter, sort, and visualize your data. You can export your data in various formats for further analysis in softwares like Excel or SPSS. For advanced users, Kobo Toolbox integrates with platforms like Google Sheets and Power BI. You can set up API connections to create live data links and enhance your data insights. To create such a connection from one of your COBO projects to a Google Sheet, you will first have to go to Data, Downloads, Advanced Options. You can here select the questions that you want to be exported and save your selection as, let's say, COBO data. You can now export your data. You will now have to create a Google Sheet. For example, let's name it Kobo Data in Google Sheet. Here, you will have to add the extension of the API connector. To do so, go to Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and here you will have to look for the API connector. Here it is. Here it's already installed. Once you get this API connector, under Extensions, you can open it and it will show you a new dashboard. You can now create a request. You will have to enter the URL you want to connect with. To do so, go back to your Kobo Toolbox website and enter API v2. Here, under Assets, go to the Assets site, and since you created the Kobo data before, you will have to look for this file. Here it is. You are interested in the URL for the CSV, so copy this link address, go back to your Google Sheet, and paste it in here. Now, for the headers, the key is authorization. The value, you will have to look up the token. To do so, you go back to your Kobo Toolbox website and you enter token. Here, you can copy the token number. You go back to your Google Sheet, and the value here is token space, and you can copy the token number. Once you've done that, you need to enter the destination sheet. We are here in sheet one. This will be the destination sheet. Once you've done that, you can save and then run this project. Now you have all the data from this project imported here. If you want to refresh your data, you can simply go to Extensions, API Connector, and just refresh all now.